I gotta say, the blinking is super off-putting. But they did absolutely nail my chest and abs. Oh boy. I don't want to fight you. Oh, I don't have to. Because we're friends. We're gonna... Say we're gonna avenge the fluffles. There's no saving them now. What's up guys? Welcome back to Paint the Town Red. Uh, that game where believe it or not, you don't always want to resort to violence. You'd much rather use your words, you know, talk things out like rational adults. But every now and then, you've got a little guy with real square nips that won't stop punching you in the throat. So you just can't resist giving him the old Nike sandwich. So to start things off, we find ourselves in the Wild West, where people were well known for talking out their differences and totally didn't shoot each other indiscriminately in drunken blurs. I have no doubt that we will fit right in. Uh, I, I know they're awkwardly staring at me right now, but Actually, I think that might just be because I'm standing up in my train seat. Uh, sorry about that, folks. I think this is my stop. I, I, I'm just going to get off here in a fully realized Western town. Holy crap. Like, I know this doesn't look all that impressive, but you really got to understand just how bad the level editor is in this game. This must have taken forever to make. It's actually really impressive. That's a horse. Sir, I don't know if you realize this, but you may be on the world's stiffest horse. It's like the exact opposite of a wobbly horse. Like, you got all the bones in the family. You even got the world's stiffest chicken to match. Like, I don't know if you guys realize this or not, but you want to breed your chickens to have little bones, not extra bones. It just makes them all the harder to eat. Uh, unless this is a hunting chicken. It is the size of a golden retriever. That is a little concerning. Oh, good. I, I brought my little western mittens. Now you can't tell if I'm going to start a gunfight or build a snowman. Sir, you really shouldn't drink and drive a wagon. Okay, well, I, I guess you just can't hear me. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be the sheriff in town. Am I the new sheriff? Because if I am, I'm gonna outlaw all sour pusses. You look like you've been trying to suck a fart out of a lemon all afternoon. I don't know if it was my comment about that lady's face, but the locals don't seem all that inviting. I mean, like, I, I'm seeing a lot of closed doors around here, and I just want to introduce myself, okay? If I'm gonna be upholding the law with a shotgun, then... I should probably visit the general store. Howdy there, sir. I I'm not interested in what's in the safe. <laughs> That's all yours. I know I'm pointing my shotgun, but it it's to do good things. I'm going to be the good guy. They're all looking at me like, yeah, sure you are. <laughs> I'll prove it, okay? I'll, I'll prove you all wrong. Just you wait. <laughs> First, I'm going to snoop around a little bit. Got ourselves a bit of a sad cow poke, you know, depression affects us all, and a whole bunch of gold, which I'm not gonna touch, because again, not interested, I am the law. <laughs> a lot of people hanging around, makes me think something's about to go down. Uh, sir, uh, I don't think those doors actually open, they're just kind of decorative, unless you're trying to make sure they're perfectly level with your face. It really helps to have a completely flat face when it comes to barn raising. I should just walk around and introduce myself. Right? We got more horses, we got more cowpokes. Do we have in here? This is... The same store? A different store? Am I going crazy? Weren't you wearing a hat a minute ago? I guess people could take their hats off. What was that? Someone fighting somewhere? What? Oh. Oh, we might have bandits. Uh, okay. Would all the people of General Store Town please come out and help me? I don't know if I can uphold all the law by myself. I only got four shots. I've taken stock of the town's armory, and it turns out they've got two crossbows, one knife, and a saw. I really wouldn't want to be the guy who draws the short straw and gets the saw. I'm just saying. Anybody in here want to get into a fight? You all look like you're kind of drunk. That, that, that would be the time to fight, right? Anyone? Oh, come on. This is like a, some kind of little artisanal beer tasting. Come on, you wuss pusses. They're going to rob us or not. 
I thought there was, oh, there is, there's not fighting, there's just people beating each other up. It's a rich guy beating up another rich guy with a, with a rolling pin? What's wrong with you? Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and deal with the bandits, or not. I'm guessing the bandits are just gonna take care of each other. I don't think this is some kind of mind controlling shotgun, very concerning. Uh, oh great. We started a bar brawl. Well, look at us. This was the bar that I should have visited. This is where people were looking to fight. Okay, um, uh, I'm gonna ask you to, to put down the broom, ma'am. Ow, okay, you know what? That That's against the law. Punching an officer in the back of the neck. That's not how you use a crossbow, Gladys. <laughs> okay, everybody break, break it up. Break, break it up. I don't mean your skulls. I don't know if you guys realize this. Like, chairs might hurt my body, but betrayal hurts my feelings. I was supposed to protect you. I think that arrow just went through like four towns, folk. <laughs> really sorry about that. Oh, it did, it, it did, just didn't exactly kill them. Okay, can everybody line up again? I only got so many arrows. It says I have three, but then apparently I've got literally dozens. Oh, it shoots like three at a time. That's shockingly powerful. How is it that one arrow pierces somebody, but three turns them into sloppy Joe meat? Ow! We get stop with the chairs. We got three rabble rousers and three arrows. If I can line this up just right, oh, so close! <laughs> Two out of three rabble rousers agree that this crossbow is hilarious. Oh, I didn't mean to get the prisoner. Actually, now that I think about it, where's Fluffles? There's gotta be a Fluffles in here somewhere. Every level has a Fluffles. <laughs> if I was taking a dump or bathing, where would I be? Maybe over this way? I just gotta deal with all the people that think they can sneak up on me. What are you doing? Oh, you're, you're a grave digger. Uh, that's not good. Who's gonna dig your grave? <gasps> oh no, the church was open. I didn't think I could get in here. How are those two bandits still swinging for the fences? I don't understand, there's almost nothing of them left. Fortunately, I took the time, I got my prayer in, so I should be able to help them because I have the power of gods and anime on my side. Did they change Smite? I've got this like weird vignette around my vision and oh boy, people are really exploding now. Do you think I can get the ones up on the balcony? Oh, come on. No, no, use the mittens. Fire the mittens. There we go. Got them. That was an act of God. Don't blame me. Or at the very least, don't figure out how to open a gate. I, I know you're staring at me. I think that guy's got pink eye. Oh, yeah, you've definitely got pink eye. No one touch him. Uh, somebody farted on his pillow. <laughs> that is how pink eye works. What is with these chairs? Why are they getting nailed down to the graves? Ew. Yeah, you see, now we're just layering them. We got people buried underneath the jelly that was people. I just, I, I need a weapon so that I can deal with it. So, oh great, I got a bucket. Who wants to get bucketed? You? That works. Oh, oh, right, bandits, bandits. Not so tough, are you? Wouldn't expect getting hit by the pee bucket. You'd swear these prospectors were looking for nose gold with how furiously they are panning each other in the face. Like, I just want somebody to find a six shooter and have a duel with me in the middle of the road, but nobody is willing to comply. So instead, we're just gonna have to get back down to business. There are so many people in this town. I don't suppose there's a population or something like, I, I think I saw that there was a sign somewhere, but I can't quite remember. Either way, it's gonna need to get updated. Hey guys, if you don't mind me asking, what kind of Wild West town has very few guns? Like, figure that out. I was saying that it'd be really unfortunate if somebody had to use the saw, and lo and behold, this is all I've got left. Like, this town just sucks in general. Like, there's no brothel, there's no door to get out on the balcony. Uh, okay, well, don't worry, we can just, uh, saw our way through. Um, oh good, we can also use chairs. <laughs> can I get through the windows? No, I'm, I'm really just resorting to, to punching and kicking like this. Actually, maybe I could, I uh, think that got them off? I don't know, it's <laughs> hard to tell, to be perfectly honest. Is there anybody down here? 
Other than you, Square Chicken? Oh my god, they're still up there. Guys, please, just, just work with me here. I, how did you get up there? Just hold still, okay? I'm going for the Guinness Book of World Records longest pickaxe throw. Hit. There we go. <laughs> That's Captain Sauce without a space, just so you're aware. Oh, I forgot uh, a couple of trajectory seats that we might be able to. Air goods, one left. <laughs> one of those two must have survived. I wonder if I could hardcore parkour my way up there. Oh, that, that's gonna be close. I might actually, no, no, wait. The movies? That's, ah, oh, screw it. I'll just wing them with the chair from here. <laughs> Flawless. All right, well, I think I have brought law and order to this town. I'm gonna say mission accomplished. We'll move right along to the next. I was thinking I would stay on the whole Western theme and we'd move on to a level called a story about a girl I no longer love, which just sounds like a country song. And there's definitely a country girl here who may or may not have broken my heart or tried to eat it maybe. I'm not really sure. This is way spookier than I thought. Are you the girl? I don't think the girl is a generator. Uh, oh, oh, oh. That's, that's probably a statue, right? That, that's arts, not people, surely. Uh, no, no, don't want to be hiding over here next to that. With all the holes. I'm hearing a lot of noises. What is this? This isn't at all what I thought it was going to be. Oh, okay. Yes, please. This makes even more light than the lantern and can probably cut through some deranged heart-eating woman easily enough uh okay i don't really want to hardcore parkour with you how about we just uh do a little something like that works <laughs> was that cheap that might have been a little cheap like i care this is such a weird psychedelic trip like these random shapes just floating up i'm guessing i could use them as platforms to get back if I went down there and fought people, but I kind of just shot them in the head, so... I think we'll stay up here on target and just move into the Hall of Toilets. Okay, um... I don't know what this person was smoking when they made this, but it was definitely too strong. Hi! Oh, it's a robot cowboy! Robot zombie cowboy? Excuse me, what are you? Can't tell. Ooh, what the Christ? <laughs> Some tig ass biddies on that robot zombie cowboy. <laughs> Look at you! <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, oh crap! I'm sorry, was that the girl I loved? A just natural reaction for me to slash at the titties. Oh, freak, why, why am I the way I am? They can quite clearly see me right now, and the guy seems to have some kind of facial twitch. <laughs> I am going to try to use my words. We're gonna talk this out. Rational adults, right? We all put our combat thong on one leg at a time. Isn't that right, ma'am? Correct? Okay. Really? Did you not just see what I did to the last guy? I'll be taking your sword in case mine is getting a little beat up. Stop it. These statues are so freaky. Like, it, it, it is just like a, a pile of people statue. I've never seen anything like this in this game. I swear I'm not trying to cower in a corner right now. If anything, I'm not really all that afraid. I can completely decimate everything around here. I just don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. This seems like a dead end. Right, there's, there's nowhere for me to go. I could go back through here, but I already saw everything there was to see back this way. I could ride one of those shapes up, I suppose, see if they take me somewhere. Oh, no, we don't want to go up. We want to go further down. I've never been invited to an eyes wide shut party where everybody had fire sword. This is gonna be a uh, interesting time. You all drinking the Kool-Aid right now, or what? Okay, okay, yep, 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 okay, I guess uh, usually green light means go, but we can use pink, pink works. 
There's something about the juxtaposition of graves right next to mattresses on the floor with all of these people dressed however they are that's making me really uncomfortable. I think I'm just gonna blow them up. Okay. Yeah, I didn't need to see when doing this. That's cool. Uh, oh, yeah, that's retina damage right there. Oh, boy. Uh, could somebody maybe turn down the lights or give me some glasses or something, please? There's got to be people out there somewhere. I'm just, like, doing this right now. We're, we're, we're just firing. It's a spray and pray. Oh, my prayers have been answered. <laughs> All right. Well, that wasn't so bad. Still apparently nine people left. Whoa. Hi. Sorry, I missed you. Eight. Just going to pop up out of the graves or what? I, I, there's like a little dark square. Oh, I should have been in the dark square. So much easier here. I, I think that might be it. I think this might be the end. The, there might have been a, a couple of strange individuals that I missed back there, but honestly, <laughs> with everything that they were wearing, I just couldn't deal with it. Our final level for today is called Fluffle's Origin Story, and I kid you not, somebody actually went and made an entire level about Fluffle's. I could have swore Fluffle's Origin Story was one of my most viewed videos ever, but apparently not. Apparently this is the true origin of Fluffle's. If you've never heard of Fluffle's, he's my square-nipped ally. He's in pretty much every level, and for some reason, he was born full of strawberry jam. So it looks like his brethren are currently being jammed as we speak. <laughs> Mildly concerning. <laughs> I gotta say, the blinking is super off-putting. <laughs> but they did absolutely nail my chest and abs. Oh boy. I don't want to fight you. Oh, I don't have to. Because we're friends. We're gonna... Sa We're gonna avenge the Fluffles. There's no saving them now. <laughs> they are purely jammed. Uh, what do we have here? Fluffles, grab the meat of your fallen brother and take your vengeance. I got a couple big sacks of meat that I could grab right here. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I've always been curious. What's the difference between jam and jelly? And it turns out that it's I'm not gonna jelly a giant piece of meat in your butt. <laughs> Oh, oh, don't, don't turn. Holy crap, he is way bigger than I thought, which means he's got an extra big knife. I am just like ninja whooshing away from people right now. Hey, whoa, okay, calm it down there, bud. I gotta see you from the front. Come here, no, no, come here, come here. I gotta... <laughs> I'm still beautiful, don't worry. Everything is fine, human meat department, wonderful. Isn't that just great? Well, guess what, guys? This is about to be a rebellion. Stand up for our fallen brethren. Uh, can I have that back, please? Get him, large me. Uh... <laughs> Good swing. <gasps> Holy crap. Uh, Fluffles? These aren't Fluffles. Like, they're, they're Fluffles brothers. It's like I was saying, they're, they're the, the brethren, but Fluffles himself, he always looks the exact same. Ooh, taser, don't mind if I do. I don't think, oh, this might be Fluffles. Fluffles? Uh, no, probably not. Okay, well, we'll just keep looking. He's gotta be around here somewhere, right? I hate the fact that things are red keyed. Like, I'm finding a red key amongst all the jam and jelly is like trying to find a needle in a hay stack. Oh, I thought I saw it there. No, there's like a red reflection off of all the knives. Never, no, no, that's meat. You see what, everything looks like a red key. Come on, big guy. You got it. You you got it. Just just line him up. It, it, it's like he's just swinging through nothing at all. I found the red key, by the way. It, it was conveniently pointed out by an arrow on top of uh fridge? A TARDIS? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Either way, we should be able to find out what's going on out here. Of course it would be the restaurant front. Uh, is the Fluffles to your liking today, sir? Because if not, I'm, I'm sure I could hook you up with some knife in the ear. You really all gonna go after the big guy? That's a mistake and a half. Why are pimps so incredibly tough? I've broken an entire Ikea on this guy. Could you please take care of him? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Nine remaining. I've already found a blue key. Fluffles has to be around here somewhere. He's usually taking a poop. So, I would imagine he's got to be around here somewhere. It was a good thing he's not in that one, otherwise I would have hit him there. 
<gasps> well, we found a button. The button. Oh, the button opens the door. Well, isn't that no? The button gives me a katana. A Genji katana. Are you kidding? How many memes are in this? So we got some giant evil guys as well as a thought. Even looks like they're currently being uh, affected by the uh, the ink, right? They're, they're, they're pretty inked up. I think I took down a thought. Not easy to make a stick woman three-dimensional. Will you please stop, okay? I, I know that I'm a bit of an ankle biter right now, but just just take a seat. There we go, thank you. E5 fo fum, I'm stepping on your head. Blow it out your bum. Where are we going? Oh, that's the end. How can that be the end? There was still a couple people. Oh, you'll take care of them, right? If you got them, I think this guy might still be alive. I'm gonna have to Judas myself real quick. I think I, oh. Okay, I don't want that fight. No, I'm good. I think we're just gonna end things here and now and uh, walk away happy. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. And as always, thank you guys so much for supporting this series, not just by watching, but also by participating. It's really cool that people are making stuff. Whoa, what was that room? I didn't get to see that room. There was writing on the wall and, and what looked like Jawbot and Fluffles was here. I knew he was pooping somewhere. <laughs> I miss stuff. Okay, if you guys want to see me return for more just nonsense like this, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, let me know, and I will definitely laugh at myself with you guys again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.